Hello everyone. In this segment, uh, we will try to solve a design problem related to the design of sedimentation tank. But prior to that, let us understand uh, two important concepts of retention time. There are two ways to calculate the retention time. The first one is for a rectangular tank. Retention time T can be calculated as the ratio of volume of the tank to the rate of flow. Rate of flow is discharge. Volume of the tank for a rectangular tank it is B into L into H. So B is the breadth, L is the length and H is the vertical depth. Now when it comes to the circular tank, the retention time can be calculated as D square into 0 0.011 times D plus 0.785 times H whole divided by the rate of flow discharge where D is the diameter of the tank and H is the vertical depth at wall. So let us try to solve a problem. The problem statement is the maximum daily demand at a water purification plant has been estimated as 12 million liters daily. 12 MLD refers to 12 million liters daily. Design the dimensions of a sedimentation tank for the raw supplies assuming a detention period of 6 hours and the velocity of flow as 20 centimeter per minute. So according to the problem statements, problem statement what we have here, there are two or three things are given. One is the quantity, the daily demand. It's 12 million liters daily. So 12 million liters or 12 into 10 raised to 6 liters daily. That means for about 24 hour time span and the retention period which is given is 6 hours. It means for every 6 hours you will supply another batch of uh, volume of water and the velocity of flow is 20 centimeter per minute which later can be converted into 0.2 meters per minute. So let us try to solve this. Quantity of water to be treated in 24 hours in one day is 12 into 10 raised to 6 liters. So for one day it is 12 into 10 raised to 6 liters. Now if I want to calculate the quantity of water to be treated in one hour, the same thing can be 12 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 24 liters. So quantity of water to be treated in 6 hours. Now there is a retention period of 6 hours. The meaning of detention period 6 hours used here is what is the amount of water which can be treated under 6 hours? And that is 12 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 24. It is for 1 hour into 6 is for a detention period of 6 hours. And that is around 3 into 10 raised to 6 liters. 3 million liters. So the quantity or capacity of that particular rectangular sedimentation tank is 3 into 10 raised to 6 liters or 3000 meter cube. So you can say 3 into 10 raised to 3 into 10 raised to 3 liters. 10 raised to 3 liters is meter cube. So it is 3000 uh, meter cube. Now the velocity of flow is given as 20 centimeter per minute or it is 0.2 meter per minute. We will use this velocity. We calculate the length of the tank. Now we all know that the velocity is distance by time or length by time. Now the length can be calculated by multiplying velocity into detention period. The same thing, velocity into time. So it's 0 0.2 into 6 into 60, 6 into 60. So it's about 72 meters. So we've converted this minutes and uh, the other factors, hours. That's why we multiplied this by 60 here. So the length, one of the dimensions for the design is the length and that is 72 meters. So we are uh, remained with other two dimensions, depth and the width. Now once we know the length, let us try to calculate the cross section area of the tank required. So the cross section area is capacity of the tank divided by length of the tank. We know the volume divided by length is one of the cross sectional areas and that is 3000 by 72 is around 41.67 meter square. Let us round it off. It is 41.7 meter square. So this is the cross sectional area. Now by using this cross sectional area, 
we can calculate the width. So this cross-sectional area is something like it is is depth into the width. Depth into the width. Assume a depth of around four meters. Width can be calculated as 41.7 divided by 4. 41.7 is a cross-sectional area divided by the the depth, and that is around 10.5 meters and 10.5 meters is the width. So far we have calculated the length equals to 72 meters and width which is 10.5 meters. Now let us give a free board of 0.5 meter. Free board is kind of an extra space above this point, uh, above the, the 4 meter height. So the total height of the sedimentation tank is 4 plus 0.5 and this 0.5 is for some extreme conditions. Usually we allow the water to fill about 4 meter depth. So the overall depth is 4 plus 0.5 and that is 4.5 meters. And hence we have designed this sedimentation tank for the demand of 12 million liters and a detention period of 6 hours. And the velocity which we used here is around 20 centimeter per minute and hence a rectangular sedimentation tank with an overall size of 72 meters as a length, 10.5 meter as a width and 4.5 meter can be used. So diagrammatically if you can draw this, 72 meter is the length, 10.5 meter is the width and 4 meter actually is the depth plus 0.5 meter as a freeboard. That is around 4.5 meter.